An Israeli strike on an apartment building in Gaza killed at least 88 Palestinians today. Reporter Raf Sanchez is in Tel Aviv, Israel, with a look at the devastation and fallout from the latest airstrikes. Hey there, Israel carrying out today one of its deadliest strikes in Gaza in months. The Hamas-run health ministry says an Israeli airstrike leveled an apartment building. They're saying 93 people killed, including 25 children. Our team was on the scene. and You can see just the absolute scale of destruction. Bodies lined up in rows in ashen streets and the wounded taken to one of the only functioning hospitals still in northern Gaza, where medical supplies and medical staff are exhausted and overstretched. Now, we asked the Israeli military about this strike. They say they are investigating these reports of large-scale civilian casualties and that they take effort to minimize harm to innocents. But this comes as there is growing tension between the United States and Israel over new Israeli laws that would restrict the work of UNRWA, the UN aid agency for Palestinians. Israel says that agency perpetuates extremist ideology. It says that some of its staff actually took part in the October 7th attack. Meanwhile, a month after Israel assassinated the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, the militant group today, announcing his successor is a longtime deputy. This is a man who is in his early 70s. It's not clear he has the same charisma as Nasrallah. And Israel's defense minister is already hinting that Israel has plans to assassinate the new militant chief. I'll send it back to you.